Hi, this is Justice with LearnBuildBox.com. I'm going to show you some of the new exciting parts of BuildBox 1.1. Uh, one of the things that I don't think we, uh, or at least I didn't really understand when I first tried uh, some of the new features is what infinite levels actually meant. And this is one of the most exciting new features in 1.1, so I'm going to show that off to you. I'm going to go ahead and hit play here. So hit play. And I think this is probably the easiest way to demonstrate what infinite levels actually looks like. Now this part is actually challenging for me, so uh, there's a good chance I'm not going to make it here. Oh, good. All right, yay! I found my secret platform, which for some reason is uh, got some smaller pieces there. Now I'll play around with that later. All right, but anyway, this demonstrates. One of the neat things is that you can actually go up in the level, which I did not realize you could do. Now, I did realize, because this was a big issue for me, if I click these different scenes, you can see most of these are about 1,000 to 1,200 um, pixels wide. And that worked okay, except for right here, if you'll notice, I'm using a slightly offset uh, perspective. So I have this little bit of a cube that I'm working with. And every time I would go from scene to scene, there's always a challenge getting it layered correctly so that one cube would not end up showing up in front of the other one. So having an infinitely long level, I don't have to worry about that anymore, which makes me very happy. I can just make a long, 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 long level. And that's great because I can add different decorations and different things to make the level uh, interesting. And uh, all the seams in between those sections really uh, are easy to get right now, which I'm very thankful that they added in version 1.1. All right, well, that does it for the infinitely long levels. Uh, also, what I did, just so you guys have an idea, the easier way to do this, at least for me, if you click on start, or wherever you want to start your infinitely long level. Up here, start and end distance, you can just put the entire length of your previous uh, set of scenes. So right here, my end game scene was at 30,000. And so I just checked out the distance. This is 60 now because I have my 30,000 in front of it all in the start scene. Uh, but that allows me to do what I want to do and made it so that I, I made the same size level as I had wanted to do before. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next tutorial.